time now for a special spooky wildlife theme, perfect for Halloween. We are talking all about bats. Joining us live now over Zoom is Marianne Galvin with the Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources. Marianne, there are a lot of myths out there about bats. That's right. This time of year, you see the cutouts and outlines, pictures of bats everywhere. People use them for Halloween decorations. You see them on Halloween cards and haunted houses, but bats are not spooky at all. In fact, they provide a very important service to the citizens of Alabama. They are insectivores, and that means they eat insects. Insects, of course, have a place in the world, but bats consume insects all night long while you and I are sleeping. And by doing that, they cause a great benefit to us by saving our agricultural crops. People don't realize that bats, in addition to being pollinators and eating the insects, are actually saving all of us money on groceries. Worldwide, bats save about $1 billion a year just on corn crops. And most people eat corn. If you eat corn, thank a bat. In addition, just in our country, about $23 billion worth of pesticide services are provided by bats. There are lots of bats here in Alabama. We have 15 species. What types of bats do we see most often in central Alabama? The ones that you're seeing most often are probably little brown bats and big brown bats. And yes, that is actually what they're called. Little brown bats and big brown bats are not very large. Of course, everything looks bigger when they fly and when they spread their wings. But these bats are lightweight, agile nighttime hunters. They weigh about two or three quarters, so they're less than a handful of change. And these are the only flying mammals in the world. And so these bats are commonly seen around dusk, in Alabama flying anywhere. They can be very successful in urban areas. They do not need caves to survive. They will roost on the side of a home, up under tree bark, other man-made structures, and some bats even rest on the ground under leaves. And so bats are great to have around. They provide a lot of important pest control services. And if you see one, make sure you don't touch it. You just leave it alone and let it go about its job of insect control. Now, what do we do if we see one maybe in our garage under our porch in a spot that we probably don't want it to be hanging out at? What should we do then? Yes, it's very important that you never initiate contact with a bat. bat bats have very small, sharp, pointy teeth. And although they're not typically aggressive towards humans and they won't get caught in your hair, like the myths say, they are very capable of inflicting a bite which could carry diseases to humans if they're cornered. And so if you have a bat in your garage or in your house, make sure you give it an escape route and herd it to that open area, the open door or the open window using a broom or a blanket or some other type of material. Do not pick it up with your hands. Okay, so kind of try to shoo it literally shoo it in the direction away exactly. from the house. What else do you want folks to know about bats, especially on this Halloween? Well, the Alabama Department of Conservation and Natural Resources is really excited to announce that we have found a brand new breeding population of northern long-eared bats in coastal Alabama. And that species has never been found in that area before. We do a lot of bat conservation. We have biologists that study bats all year long. They're most popular here around Halloween, but these bats are working hard all year. Many species of bats in Alabama are protected. And so there's no reason to go out of your way to hurt a bat or kill a bat. As you said, just shoo it away from your home or if it gets stuck in your house. If you have them stuck in your attic or roosting in your home in an undesirable area, give us a call and we can help let you you know how to get rid of those bats and exclude them from your home without harming them. And so they'll find another place to roost and continue their very important job of insect control. Marian, any mammal that eats insects is a friend of mine. So <laughs> I appreciate the bats this Halloween. Thanks so much for joining us here on Alabama Live. Thank you. Happy Halloween.